Hi everyone. I'm going to show you how to program the Yesu VXX using the RT Systems software. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is buy the software and or the cable. Uh, first, you got to go to the RT Systems. I'll put a link on the description um, below on this video, or you can go to Google and just type RT Systems. And when you're here, you'll type VX6. And then you search. And there it is. And you're going to need two things, the cable and the programming software. Apparently this cable, if you have it, then you just buy the program. Uh, this cable works with other um, devices. In my case, I had to buy both. So yes, it is a little bit pricey, but it's well worth it. And then it has uh, two operating systems, Windows and Mac. And then you can also uh, select, of course, download the software electronically and then wait for the cable to come to you. Gives you a description of the, of the software and then the cable and then you purchase it. Okay, let's look at the software now. So now you have the VX6 programmer open. One thing to consider is that you've probably been using your Yesu VX6 and you already probably programmed it for some frequencies, maybe some repeaters and such. One thing you might want to do is uh, download that information into the programmer. So let's do that first. You don't have to do this step, but if you do, Let's go over it. So the first thing um, I'll do is go to communications. Now I'm using the Mac version. Should be very similar to the PC version. And it says get data from radio. And the cool thing about these, um, the programmers um, is that it gives you the steps of what you need to do. And it says attach the cable securely. All right. Uh, to the speaker mic jack. Okay, so uh, here's my Yesu VX6. And I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of this antenna. I'm going to take it out right now. It's in the way. And then the speaker jack. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? This radio is, you know, more than 15 years old. Well, the, the, um, when it first came out, this one is about two years old. No less than two years about a year. What am I talking about? Okay, here's the speaker jack. So you unscrew that. Then the cable, of course, you plug it into the USB. Uh, with three rings on it. And then just plug it in there. That's pretty neat. Okay. So that's done. It says Press and hold the V, no, the FW key, and then turn on the radio. So that's this key here. And then turn it on. And sure enough, it says verify the radio displays clone. Yes, it does. And then click on the OK button. All right, let's click on the OK button. Press and release the band key to start transfer. Uh, where's the band key? It's right here. Press and release. There it is. It says TX, and it's reading the information from the radio. Well, that's pretty neat. Okay, it's gonna take a little while, and we're gonna do a little movie magic. Right. and we're coming back to it. It's almost done. And there it is. Wow, that is really neat. Okay, you can see I have some frequencies already uh, that I programmed the radio. A um, couple of other things to note. Uh, you have uh, skip memories, limit memories, DMR, 
VFO, home, marine memories. That's really nice. And then you can click on the banks. SW, short wave. That's pretty neat. This radio is really cool. And you know, you can click on the bank. Which, where do you want to store those? Weather memories. And again, different banks. You have until, looks like you have 24 banks on this radio. Then memory. Okay, we are ready to type in some numbers. So these are the numbers again from the radio that I ported in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in some numbers. I just recently learned about this thing called APRS voice alert. And so I'm going to set it up. So the first number is going to be 144390. And that's going to be APRS voice alert to monitor that. The, there is a tone. That's going to be 100. That's cool, isn't it? And it's going to have its own bank. We're going to do bank four. It's too bad you can't type the banks up here. And then I'm going to need when I use when I am using the voice alert, you know, I'm going to I'm going to have to make sure that we talk in a different frequency. So that's going to be one, four, four, five, two. Um, and that's going to be I'm going to call that uh, APRS uh, TX. Of course, I want to show that no tone. I mean, you could put a different tone if somebody knew that tone. I'm going to put it in that bank. Okay. Awesome. So I just typed that information. Of course, you can always fine tune your other um, frequencies. And now I'm ready to send it to the radio. Okay, let's do that. Send data to radio. Okay. So says to attach securely the speaker mic jack. Okay, I did that. Press and hold the FW key while turning on the radio. Okay, let's do that again. Right, it is on clone. Press VMW, oh, VMW, yes. It says press the VMW to start wait mode. Okay, it's on wait mode. Verify the radio displays wait. Yep, it sure does. Now what? Click OK to start transferring the data. Okay. And there it is. It's writing the data. Pretty neat, right? And then we'll do a little movie magic to show you, like, speed up this process. Okay, I think that's it, right? And then the radio is ready to be used. So I'm gonna unplug it, make sure to put the plug back in. Nice and snug. And then take the antenna. Put that on. Make it ready to go. All right. And now you can see all the frequencies are there. Right. And you can also see that the APRS is there as well. So that's pretty neat. It looks like it did work and now you're ready to go. So if you like this video, please subscribe, uh, put a thumbs up on it and I'll be seeing you later. All right, bye-bye.